LSE's philosophy department is unique because it's thoroughly interdisciplinary in its research and it focuses on socially relevant philosophy. This is an extraordinary department to come to. It's nestled in the center of London in a very metropolitan, very diverse place. And then you find yourself in this concentrated little campus right in the middle. You know, you look at a map of London and at the bullseye in the center of it is where, is where the LSE is. And in this place, there are people who are curious about everything from what justice means and how the political world hangs together to what are the fundamental molecules. I think the most important support we offer to students is the academic mentor. So every student has an academic mentor. So I'm an academic mentor and my students come to me to talk about all kinds of things. Sometimes they want to talk about philosophy, sometimes they want to talk about plans after they finish their degrees, sometimes they just have a problem they want to get off their chest, and that's all great. They should come to their mentors and just have an open conversation that helps them. After graduation, students go on to do all sorts of different things. So we have students that have gone on to work in journalism and in the media more generally, to work for the government, different NGOs, to work for charities, some work in the financial sector or in consulting, some go on to teach. And of course, many of our students go on to do further study and become academics themselves. So yeah, a really wide range of different career paths. And I think philosophy can take you in all sorts of different directions. LSE philosophy is wonderfully diverse. I mean, firstly, they come from very, very different intellectual backgrounds. They've studied at places all around the world. There's people from many different ethnic backgrounds, different genders, queer people, straight people. You sort of have a remarkable mix uh, of different ways of looking at the world and different backgrounds. We've also had substantial impact on policy. To give one example, the work by the Ascent program on animal sentience has already changed laws in Britain on the treatment of animals. And we've seen other work on fair priority setting in health shape the policies of major international organizations like the World Health Organization. So the world is changing as a consequence of the ideas and arguments that we develop here.